everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do my weekly reading for singles for the week of March 23rd through the 30th. And we are starting this week and this midweek out with the full moon lunar eclipse. So a lot of strong energies going on, has been going on through the solar eclipse, and now we're hitting the lunar eclipse in Libra, the full moon in Libra. So let's dive in and see what spirit has for everyone. I'm going to be starting the, the week uh, messages with the fortune reading cards. And um, do keep in mind this is a general message connecting to your, um, the message that spirit wants everyone to know for this week. And also, of course, always protecting with Archangel Michael. And we have the moon. So interesting. We was just talking about the full moon. Very beautiful way to start the reading. And so I feel the full moon time um, is going to take a bit of focus off of your love life but it is also going to bring a change it's, it's showing a, like a drastic change that this this full moon this lunar eclipse is going to have on everyone's love lives and the energy surrounding them so i feel a need and a message from spirit as well to kind of focus your attention on this time frame on this energy so whatever comes up for you to be released to be let go of this full moon do that and it doesn't mean it's a person it doesn't mean it's a relationship it can it's just energies past patterns fears all these things that surround your energies or maybe your partnership or and i'm doing this for singles so those that are not in partnerships patterns that have kept you maybe childhood patterns anything that comes up that is sensitive for you. Just kind of uh, acknowledge it, they're saying, and release it. So paying a little bit of attention in the first part of this week to the full moon is going to be important. And it says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So it's pay attention, like I said, I feel more to this time period, the things that kind of come up and releasing them, doing that work um, this week and working with that full moon and, and the eclipse energies. And then you're going to be able to move forward confidently. These things are going to be cleared away. These energies that are maybe uh, creating negative patterns or situations. And then in the last few readings I felt uh, for the singles, there's a lot of family energies going on for them. So, it, if, for example, I feel I I have felt that because the family harmony card and the family um, energies have come up in the last couple, that uh, there's patterns going on within. Um, you know, from the past that have are affecting your what you're attracting into your life at this time. Also, um, there could be family situations that are just taking um, your attention away. You know, it's more important, or there's something going on with your family that is causing some emotional upsets that is taking your focus off of your relationships at this time. So it's kind of bringing that up again as well. So paying attention to all those things, really giving that attention, maybe more so than your relationship. Um, is a little bit of a more important message right now from Spirit. But this is their message for this week. So let's dive in, and I'm going to be using another deck that I've had for a long, long time. And this is one of my absolute favorite. It is the Llewellyn deck of, uh, for those deck enthusiasts. This is the back of it, and it is just a very beautiful deck. So I'm focusing on what Spirit has for everyone for this week. energies for the week of the 23rd through the 30th, I do believe. Wednesday to Wednesday, I do this one for. That's what we're saying now. Okay, so the first one is Angel's Message, what they want us to know for this time period besides what I just felt come and heard come from this card, the moon. So the first one is the Six of Swords. So this, this is a very beautiful card. Six is all about harmony and balance and harmonious thoughts um, are the very first energies that come up. Now this card in the tarot can mean about trips. It can mean about travel. Um, it's about moving from one place like metaphorically or energetically that isn't as great into something better. So I feel that after this full moon, this eclipse comes and goes and we're moving into the middle of the week or we're moving through the week. Things are going to, as you move through the week, as you travel through the week energetically, things are going to kind of smooth out. They're going to become more harmonious in your own thoughts and your own energies. So that's something they want you to know. And of course, for some, this can be a literal trip, that there may be a trip coming for you, or maybe on a trip you're going to be meeting someone important or travel is important. But you can see in this boat, the angel is leading the way. So it's all about letting the angels lead the way and allow that energies. I feel that they're going to be smoothing things out. Things are going to become more harmonious as we move through and past this this full moon this week. 
something they can see I above you can't see down here we have the queen of wands so this is a very beautiful card and I love this one because she has a little blue shoe and to me it always represents her spirituality and she's very much standing in her spiritual um, strength and com with confidence um, and passions and when I see a wand the queen or king in a relationship reading it it sometimes can be about the twin flames so, and I know that the twin flames will watch and have watched the singles because I've received comments about that and that's fine so this could be going back and relating to those energies and people in those relationships not everyone is in one but if you are I feel a big strength because of the the symbol of the Queen of Wands this is about that for those that are watching and so this could be that the feminine and the twin uh, twin flames there's something going on with that and becoming more in touch with something in her spirituality um, gaining more confidence and I see a lot of beautiful colors surrounding this card in the background um, and a lot of positivity so something going on with the divine feminine and for those that are in twin flames and for those that aren't I feel you're going to be really connecting to your spirituality and I have been being guided that the full moon's moving through 2016 we're going to see more and more awakenings we're going to see more and more strengthening of abilities so I'm definitely seeing that here and it's standing in that power coming forward Something you can do for yourself this week, and we have the Five of Swords. So this is interesting. We started with the Six of Swords, and they're indicating to allow the angels to move you into a more harmonious energy in your thoughts. And then when we see what to do for yourself, we're seeing the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is all about conflict, things that, you know, conflictions in your mind, problems, problematic energies. It could be arguments, that type of thing. Um, so they want you to look at that, and they want you to look at the things that are going on in your mind, fears that come up that cause these things. So really looking at bringing a change, because five is all about challenges, but it's also about change. So trying to bring some change to the challenging thoughts that come through your mind that are fear-based, that cause problematic energies, that are less than harmonious, um, really looking at those things and how you hold on to them. Because you can see she's holding on to the three swords, and the three swords represent, of course, the three of swords and some pain so really looking at how your mind has you holding on to that pain this week is going to be important and helping release so really take notice of that really becoming in coming into more awareness of those thought patterns that kind of cause pain or you could simply just lay them down and let it go um, working through these problematic energies in your mind next one is something they can see I but you can't see down here and we have the hang man so the hangman is um, many things. It's, it can be very, it, you know, it can be different things. And I, I definitely see here, um, you know, things that, something, this is something, this is a secret you do not know. And so it's all about a new perspective. This can be about a new perspective. This can be the energies of needing to slow down um, as a secret you do not know. I feel that it can be that things are going to slow down a little bit um, coming forward, maybe through this week. It's just kind of, I kind of get a sense of just serene energy again. I mean, he's just kind of hanging there. There's nothing really going on. I see the trees on either side are kind of, they're green and they're very healing. So it's just giving some time to let things heal um, is a secret you do not know. Just letting letting things kind of go for a little bit and slowing down and allowing some healing to take place is going to be important. So it's like a little bit of a phase. Could be through the next 12 days is what I'm getting from this, where you just want to kind of let, uh, kind of hang out basically let things kind of grow and heal and and there's some sort of pattern or um, period here where that is going to be kind of needed and so it could be while this is going on and occurring this full moon could be healing these types of things and they really want you to take that healing time to look at those patterns um, is going to be important this week so it's about it I feel like a 12-day period of just allowing things to kind of grow and heal you can see that green on the trees on either side they took my um, they you know, took my attention to them, and so I feel that the time is needed, more time is needed for healing coming up. So that something coming soon to you in your love life, and we have a Ten of Swords, and this card can be representative of a lot of pain, painful endings. Um, for me, it is about ending things that are painful, um, in, you know, in, when I look at the energies, and so I definitely feel this week is all about allowing the angels to guide you into a more harmonious mind frame, looking at those things in your mind and in fears that kind of can create problems and challenges, giving it that healing time so we can end um, painful situations in our in our love lives. And for you know singles, it may be that you've dated and you've kind of had many painful endings and it's looking at patterns and things that kind of come up in, within yourself that create challenges in relationships and needing to kind of heal that, give things some time this week 
um, you know, as we move through and past this full moon. Um, but definitely that energy. I'm going to pull one more because I never like to leave it on a, on, a, on a lesser note. But this is a little bit of a lesser note. But for me, like I said, it's really about ending uh, painful endings. You know, it's really about putting an end to those things that kind of bring us down and defeat us. So I want to see one more thing. We have death. So, wow. Really moving into, and this one, this comes up near the holiday time. It brings up the energy of Easter. So I feel that something coming soon is a huge transition um, moving forward. And that could be where the 12 days come in. I'm not sure where that takes us up to. Um, but there is definitely a huge transition coming in for these energies. Sort of like I saw in the beginning. Um, and I feel it's moving us in towards Easter time. So just allowing that. I feel this is the main card of allowing things to kind of have a time to heal um, energetically. We're looking at energetically. So there's some things to be looked at this week. But just know the angels, have, as they started, they're guiding the way and just allowing yourself to be guided by the angels and connecting to your spirituality um, is what I'm getting from this. Reading and giving it time. And things are going to, you're going to see a big transition about around painful endings that you've had in your relationships is what is coming through. And I feel something's going to come. You're going to be noticing something right around the Easter time frame. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this reading. And I'm going to pull one more card. And it is the, you're telling me to pull one from what needs to be surrendered. Because we're seeing so many energies that kind of feel like they're coming up to be healed and released. So what needs to be surrendered for this week? Um, and that one fell out. And it says, surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So there's a need here to kind of look at limits, um, boundaries, and relationships. And that can be what the uh, Five of Swords energies is about as well. So, there's so there we did see some conflicting energies, things that need to come to an end. And so it can be surrounding boundaries. You know, maybe there's something that you need to put a stop to or there's some energies but you're going to see a transition around this um, once you you know practice working on the things that you need the needs that you have in relationship and the things that you want moving forward you're going to see the energy shift and change so there's a lot of healing a lot of things going on this week so i hope everyone has enjoyed this and i will also again of course be posting my weekly readings coming up at the end of the week friday and saturday you can watch for my weekly love and my weekly angel and I will also be doing those for the month of April. But I do believe they're going to be a little bit longer. Um, and I will be posting them after this upcoming weekend. Angel blessings.